of July, you came here for the, the biggest camp that UK had over the summer. Mm -hmm. Apparently had a, a really great weekend. What what do you remember about that weekend? That was fast. Uh, I just came here, you know, to really show, like, hey, I'm really serious about Kentucky. You know, I drove drove here, very long drive, and, uh, you know, everybody was just saying, you know, I, all the coaches, you know, it was just grand and LT on my side. But I want to win over all the coaches. I want all, I want all the coaches to see that, hey, this, hey, this the guy. So they put out their DBs against me, they love, they, the DBs they recruited. You know, I just did, did what I do. And, you know, at the end of the camp, you know, I ran a great 40 time, you know, I did one-on-ones great, did drills, everything was good, and I just showed what I wanted to show, like, that I was ready to be a part of this team. Did you have a sense while it was going on that, hey, I'm, I'm performing pretty well right here? Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, cause, I mean, I can like I can tell like everybody else like every time I caught a ball, I'm like, ooh, ahs, and <laughs> and my forty time, you know, everybody look at me like, hey, this dude is big, like he's, he, they didn't expect me to run that fast, you know, and stuff like that. So when I knew that I was doing good, I was just like, I had a, you know, tip on my shoulder, like, hey, like it's easy to me now. But, yeah. Do you uh, you remember what your time was that weekend? Uh, three, four, five days, four, five days. Okay, and you committed like. The next day, right after you, what what was the timing of that? Uh, I, I committed the very thing, very I think the same day I think. Oh really? Same day I think it was put out the very next day. Okay. No, no, it was the next day. It was the next day. I committed the next day because um, I always had a sense of Kentucky, but coming actually coming up here and seeing, especially the facility, seeing all the coaches, you know them being genuine with me, I was just like this is my home right here, and then my dad already like Kentucky from the get go so. I was like, why not? Was that your first time on campus that weekend? Yes. Okay. Why did your dad like it from the get go? Uh, because my dad, he been through the process, so he he knows a coach or recruiter that's just doing his his job and just trying to get the kid to come there. But he knows a genuine person. He knows somebody who's gonna tell me tell me the truth and not lead me the wrong way. And he felt that through Grand and LT when they was coming to talk, we were, we were talking to them, you know, little quick exchanges and you know stuff like that. And when I came up here and told him what I thought about it, he was just like, "Hey, make your decision, you know, pick your home." And I was just like, "I tell you what, my best bet right there and there." Did he know Coach Thomas at all before? Or? Uh, I think Coach Thomas was before him. Yeah, Coach Thomas was before him. My dad was a little younger. But he played. He played against my University of Miami, but he was he was after Coach Thomas. But he knew about him though. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he knew about him. I'll make sure that. Yeah. <laughs> he knew about him. How, uh, yeah. how familiar are you with the rest of the receivers in this class? Because it's a pretty talented group with a lot of different style of play guys in here. Uh, um, I'm familiar with the guys coming down from South Florida, but everybody else, you know, receivers. Uh, I'm not really. I really saw them play, but. I mean, but them coming here, I know they chose they chose the right the right place. So I have respect for them, and I just can't wait to see what they bring to the team. You know, we got one goal to build this build this program up. You know, I hope everybody accomplishes that goal. You know, I put in the same amount of work, and we just get to that goal. What's it like to be recruited by Lamar Thomas? Uh, it's it's fun. It's fun. Uh, I didn't really. My dad always talked about him, but I didn't really know. Who he was, like I was just seeing pictures, and I and then it hit me one day. My dad was like, "Do you know you get recruited by?" And I was just like, "No." He just put on this highlight, and I was like, "I always see this highlight, and I always like like it." And I was like, "I want to be like." He go up top. I'm just like, "This dude is live," <laughs> and I did not know that that was him. And then when I figured it out, I'm like, "Wow, he's interested in me." I'm like, "I'm like, oh my goodness." I was, I was very excited. I was very excited when I found out it was him, and what he did, you know. And I just, I just, I just, I just want to. The way he made his mark, that's how I want to make my mark. That's my, that's my strive. You know, I want to make my mark here at Kentucky like he did at University of Miami. Coach still has a lot of swag himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, he does. <laughs> like he's, he's real funny. You know, he's probably the, I don't say most genuine, but he's. I really connected with, you know, because he's from, you know, where I'm from, and, you know, that's just something good to have, you know, coach, while I'm from my hometown, you know, why, you know, I feel like, hey, like, you were like my high school coach, you know, I, I can, I can, um, what's the word, 
I can relate to him like I do my high school coach. <laughs> They've lost some playmakers at the receiver position. Uh, do you feel like you can come in and be one of those guys mm -hmm. right away? Yes, uh, 100%. I feel like I can come in and make my mark here. I feel like I can be, I can be somebody that is on TV, making plays. Like No doubt in my mind, all I have to do myself <laughs> is learn my plays. I feel like my ability is, I know I'll, everybody always got improvement. I'm not saying I'm there ability-wise, but I just know that as long as I know my plays, the coach will get me right and I'll be on the field. How big of a head start are you hoping to get by being here? Well, I, gotta, I already got a head start. I'm getting physically in shape. You know, you got to start running soon, so I won't come here winded. When everybody else come here, I won't be crying about the time, about school. It's real hard to cram school and try to learn something. Then go to practice. I, I'm dealing with it now, but I got a head start. So I feel like I put me ahead of the other guys that's coming. Uh, what kind of wide receiver are you if you had to describe yourself? I'm a very fast, very strong receiver. You know, uh, you know, usually have one or the other, you know. But when you see me, you know, a lot of DBs were like, oh, yeah, he's big, he's slow. So I'm just playing him this certain type of way. Then when I run, oh, like, what just happened? Like, that's, I'm just that receiver. I'm just that. I'm a surprise. It's gonna, be, it's gonna hit you hard, but it's gonna come fast. Coach Thompson's is pretty big on blocking. How do you feel about that? Oh yeah, uh, that's fine with me. I, I block. Your physical guy. Yes, I'm getting there. I'm a block. I have to block all game. I block all game. As long as we, as long as we win, it don't matter to me. I told you, it's gonna come and go. Could you kind of hit Curtis and show us how you block here a little bit? <laughs> 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 no, but uh, 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 actually, I. I blocked basically my whole life. Uh, my, me coming up as a child, as a kid, I didn't really play receiver until my ninth grade year. What so, you play before then? I played old line and tight end. O line and tight end. <laughs> Everybody thought I couldn't be a receiver. They was like, you too big, you know. And I was, I was slow back then, you know. I didn't build up my speed yet, so I know how to block. I was in three point stand. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so I, my blocking is not a problem for me. Okay, yeah. So, so you guys sneaking into some O line meetings this year? <laughs> <laughs> nah, these O line here, they're on a different level. <laughs> I look up to them like, dang! Yeah, they're a lot bigger than what I have back home. <laughs> do you really want to be an FBI agent? Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, you know, it's very slim change, you know, I make it to the NFL, but if that just don't happen, I want to be an FBI agent, yes. Why, why that dream or that aspiration? That's just something I relate to. Like my mom, she worked, um, she worked in corrections, and I just, I just have an interest in it. Uh, he's an FBI agent or a lawyer. Like I, I can't just, I, I, I don't like myself at a desk job or something. I want to be, I need to have some action. So FBI, and I'd be a lawyer because you know, I like to talk a lot. <laughs> so, really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'd be either one. Either, so I'm just taking the classes I have to take here to be either or. Yeah. Coming from Miami, like the weather outside right Oh, now. <laughs> I forgot to say that. <laughs> that's that's by far. See, the time's waking up, hey, okay, whatever. Like, you got to do it. And this weather right here, the coldest, I remember probably the coldest it got for me in Miami was like probably 50, 60. And I'm over here, I'm over here. Out here, 29. 20, it's, it's snowing outside right now. I almost slipped down the stairs this morning. It was ice. It's gonna get worse. <laughs> I heard, <laughs> I heard. Yeah, that's, it's a, hey, that's, that's a big difference. Very big difference, but it's only gonna make me better. I'm gonna have to play in it, so I might as well get used to it now. So did you even own a coat before you came here? I mean, a heavy coat? Oh no, mm -mm. I didn't. You see these? <laughs> this is all I want. <laughs> I, I want these. I didn't even own no coat. I wear these little slim Nike coats. I thought it was gonna be good with the Scully. That wind hit me. Everything. I had, to, I had to go get me a big coat. Give me some furry shoes. <laughs> I was, I'm in class, just just sitting there looking. Yeah. So, so you ever gonna sleigh ride? Oh uh, no, no. I, I haven't. I haven't sleigh ride. Nothing. I didn't. Snowball fights. Oh no. Oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I slipped on ice before, but I don't have a snowball. I try to, I tried to build a snowman one time, but it's kind of, it's actually harder. 
then everybody make it seem like on movies, you just roll it up and you know. Yeah. But no, nah, but in real life, it's no joke. That's too hard. I, I couldn't finish. Well, maybe you'll get another chance in the next couple months. I can't wait. You know, I heard you get it full of snow. Sometimes we do. <sighs> I mean, I'm excited to see it, but I don't, I don't want it to come because it's too cold. <laughs>